I need to check the branches first and taste it. The most apparent way to tell if the grape has ripened is to taste it. And I found out that Shine Muscat can bring high profit. I jumped into it a little bit later. It is better than Kelho grapes. Hello, I am Jung Gunwa, and I am farming Shine Muscat at Gimchian, Gyeong Sang Bukdo. It's been less than 10 years. It must be about 9 years. Most farms in Gimchian are cultivating grapes. I first started harvesting Kyoho grapes, and I found out that Shine Muscat can bring high profit. I jumped into it a little bit later. It is better than Kyoho grapes. This is my hometown. I already had a land after my parents passed away. I asked other people to take care of the land before. However, I decided that it would be better if I move here and manage it by myself. That is how I moved out of the city to settle here. I got the education from the technology centers in here. They provide classes all the time. After that, Unit Partners and Nang Hyo provided education. For me, I could get help from people around me because this is my hometown, where I grew up, and most people around me have been cultivating grapes for about 20 to 30 years. Due to that reason, it was easier for me to adjust. I guess Keho grapes may survive for a while due to the memory, but from now on, the new species of grapes will not have appeal. There are many people who love apples, but some of those people do not eat them because peeling them is such a hassle. If someone could wash and peel the fruit, they would eat it. But if you have to do all of that yourself, it's just too tiring. After peeling the apple, the task is not over. You need to throw away the peel and wash the knife you use. However, Shining Muscat does not require those steps. All you need to do is to put it there. Everyone would enjoy it. I think this is the most convenient fruit to eat. Personally, I think all the new species of grape will no longer require to peel it. Should I begin from my Europe trip? I had visited Europe before and it suddenly came to my mind. When I was in Europe, it was winter. It turned dark from 4 p.m. So I asked my tour guide, how can all the trees here be so tall and the forest is so dense while there is little sun? He replied that, in the summer, sun is still up at 10 to 11 p.m. I thought having the plant growth LED would solve everything. However, the brightness of the light depends on the distance of the light, and it makes a difference in the photosynthetic efficiency. I had no idea about that and installed the light too high. I think that was the reason for the decrease in the efficiency of the light. I am disappointed about that. Nevertheless, the side with the light has more prominent grains and higher sweetness. There is a clear difference. Next year, I will try again by lowering the height. I will be testing it for a couple of years. Right now, there is a cost for the light. I will have to test it for a couple of years and find ways to gain maximum effect with minimum cost. Theoretically, I can create a similar environment to nature if I spend as much as possible and speed up the maturation period. But it will cost a lot. I am still testing, but one thing is clear. There is a clear difference. It is still an incomplete test since this is my first time testing it this year. I am still not completely satisfied with the height and brightness of the light. So I will try again next year. Right now, I am sure that there is a positive effect. I can pick one grain and measure the bricks with a saccharimeter. I am unsure if you can see this, but there is the grain filling right here when the branches start to brown. And the color of the grape grains is turning from dark green to light green. I need to check the branches first and taste it. The most apparent way to tell if the grape has ripened is to taste it. 16 bricks is usually the standard for supply, so it tastes the best when it is about 16 bricks. The bottom part, that is. It starts to ripen from here, so the bottom part is less sweet. 
Even each part of one grape tastes different. The bottom part is usually less sweet than the top. If I make the bottom part 16 bricks, the top part usually comes out to be 18 to 19 bricks. Some save the most delicious part until the last. It's better to select a grape with smaller grains than bigger ones. The smaller one ripens evenly. Usually, people prefer the one with bigger grains since it looks better and is better to give someone. However, when you try it, the difference between the bottom and the top parts is more significant for the bigger grain. So, the smaller grain ones ripen evenly. For the consumer, I recommend selecting ones with smaller grains when buying Shine Muscat. Suppose you are thinking of moving to the countryside. It was not a problem since I moved back to my hometown. If this is not the case for you, you will have to be aware of the town's atmosphere. Also, choosing crops and facilities is more challenging than you think. It costs more than renting a store inside the town. I think it's better to find a way to start farming by investing small money. I would like to be a farmer who produces the best quality crops. I want to build trust with consumers so they can trust my product when they hear my name in the market. If I reach that level, I will not have to worry about the profit. As long as I farm, people will acknowledge the quality of the produce. I heard it can take over 10 years. Some people sell their grapes at a fixed rate, regardless of the market price, and profit well.